regarding the postmortem finding the most important areas which we study regarding hanging external appearance that is we study the body as a whole and all the external finding they are noted together then particularly the ligature ligature mark how it is being shown and then the internal autopsy finding so regarding the external appearance besides non specific asphyxial finding what are non specific asphyxial finding cyanosis congestion petechial hemorrhages fluidity of blood edema they are non specific asphyxial finding so beside those finding there will be other finding like neck is stressed because of suspension the neck is stressed head will be inclined towards opposite side of the knot and la face is sympathetic this is important sign that the eye on the up if the if the knot is at the side of the neck the eye on the opposite side of the knot will be closed and on the north side the eye will be open and the face will be showing congestion so the eye opposite to the north side is closed while on the north side it is open that is la face is sympathetic then the face because of intense compression the face will be appearing pale beside petechial hemorrhages the face will be appearing pale cyanosis can be this is how the cyanosis will be visible then petechial hemorrhage on head and face eyeballs will be prominent saliva dribbling of saliva is an anti mortem feature all other non specific finding all other finding can be produced if the person is hanged immediately after death that means cellular death has occurred but also somatic death has occurred but not the cellular and in between is person is hanged all the signs can appear but the dribbling of saliva from the angle of the mouth is an anti mortem sign it will not appear so in every case of hanging we should look for dried up stains of saliva from the angle of mouth which is an anti mortem sign and this is due to stimulation of the salivary gland and this is vital sign and it indicates that the person was alive when he or she was hanged or suspension took place so dried up dribble marks of saliva must be looked for tongue is turgid or too dead cyanosed or sometimes black because of drying up then the nostril may contain bloody froth urine and feces may as fake these are all the finding which are seen on the body and the post mortem staining that is the uh, capillovenous engorgement because of the effect of the gravity as the body is suspended they are on the lower part of the arms and the legs it will be on the lower legs and the lower part of the arms because of suspension but when the body is removed and put supine it can reappear redistribute but important thing is that the faint trace marks will remain at the original site it will reappear i put the dono leave the class put jaye when the body is put supine it will redistribute but faint marks will be
so except for dribbling of saliva all these signs can reappear because these signs do not indicate the anti mortem hanging they simply indicate that the body is suspended so the all the above signs will appear after the somatic death and before the molecular death when the person has died and immediately he is hanged all the signs can appear but dribbling of saliva will not be seen that will indicate that this is post mortem hanging even the particle hemorrhage can appear because of the gravitational effect <clears throat>